Berkeley Unified School Board has approved a $13.5 million settlement with nine Berkeley high school graduates who say they were sexually harassed by a chemistry teacher and coach. KTVU's Jenna Katsuyama spoke with some of the former students and joins us live tonight in Berkeley with the story. Jenna. Mike, we're right outside Berkeley High School. We got a copy of the settlement agreement, and the students were here between 1998 and 2020. We spoke with two of the plaintiffs, and they said that this has had a lasting and damaging impact on them. After more than three years of legal battles, the Berkeley Unified School District and nine Berkeley High School graduates finalized a $13.5 million settlement on Wednesday. I feel like... I've been dragged through the mud with eight other women for five years. Rachel Phillips is one of the former Berkeley High School students who sued the district, saying Matthew Bissell, a chemistry teacher and coach, had sexually harassed and assaulted them at school. What started out as a you smell good or you look beautiful when you run. Phillips' attorney shared this photo that was posted in the high school yearbook showing Bissell licking her ear, and she says she never had a relationship or consented to his advances. He grabbed me and pulled me into dark corners and would touch me and try to grab my private parts and get very close. He licked my ear. He picked me up. I mean, this was multiple occasions. The youngest plaintiff, listed by initials as Jane S.F. Doe, says she is still dealing with emotional trauma. She says she was 15 years old and Bissell was her chemistry teacher. I was too young to know how to protect myself. It really affected my confidence um, as a young person, um, my trust in men. Um, I did really badly in chemistry classes um, early on in, high, in college. The plaintiffs say their main goal was to help protect current students, and their attorney says they've submitted requests asking the Unified School District to buy software to track complaints, have more student education on harassment and reporting, create a reporting hotline, and use $1.5 million from insurance for child abuse protections. They've persevered and spoken out, and um, that, that the community see what, um, what was allowed to to happen for decades at Berkeley High and that they um, start taking real action in the future to prevent it from happening again. Today, we sent emails and put in phone calls to both Matthew Bissell's attorney as well as the Berkeley Unified School District uh, superintendent's office and board. So far, we have not received any response or statement from them. Mike. So the settlement's been approved, Jana, but what about in the court of law? Have any criminal charges actually been filed against the teacher here? Well, the main plaintiff, Rachel Phillips, says that by the time she filed her complaint, it had passed the statute of limitations. She says there are two other plaintiffs who are younger. They still perhaps might be within that uh, window, so there could be some criminal investigations as well, but at least at this point, the civil case has come to an end. All right, Jenna Katsuyama, live tonight in Berkeley. Jenna, thank you.